Hello and welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. As you can see by the title of this video, this will be a review slash unboxing, first impressions, kind of a little bit of everything. And this is on the um, Polen Seam Bag, C-Y-M-E. So it looks like this. I did get the regular size. There's a regular and a mini, so I got the regular. I decided to treat myself for getting a job that I absolutely love. Um, I did need a work bag. I do have a work laptop and then I also have my own laptop. So I needed something big enough to fit that. I wanted something nice. I wanted something that wasn't so pricey but that could last a long time and that was good quality. So again, I got the seam bag, C-Y-M-E. And I'm just going to pull up some details so I can give as much detail as possible. I got it in the color textured black in the regular size there is a regular and a mini i got the regular their instagram comments i used as reviews and that made me hesitant because people weren't getting their stuff they weren't getting shipping confirmation they weren't getting purchase confirmation um stuff was delayed late whatever the case may be so that kind of made me back away from making a purchase i decided to risk it and just see what happens there this bag specifically would go in and out of stock for so many times and then i would keep an eye on on it every every so often every few days and then one day i saw that this one the black one was available for pre-order i was initially going to get get the gray one or the taupe color i think it's gray i think it's i don't know um i was gonna get that different color but I just knew black goes with everything and, and I'm more of a black accessory person, black clothes, like my, sh just, I knew that black was the way to go versus gray. Even though I think gray would still, would have still been a good neutral, I just knew I needed the black one. I got it, it's here. Let's do a review and unboxing on it. So it comes in this nice, um, like a big white box. And then they have paper. I will say it smells kind of smells kind of funky. They have the dust bag, which you can put it in, which I probably will just to take care of it when I'm not wearing it or using it. Let's see, I will turn it so you can see it. This is it. Look at this beauty. I'll do some close shots. She is beautiful. First impressions. I love it. The seam bag starts at $430, $430, I believe. That's how much this black one was. And I did sign up for a coupon code, so I, I think I was able to use a coupon on first purchase, something like that. So it was, the subtotal was $430, the shipping was $20, and taxes was $33, but my total was $450. So I'm pretty sure I had a coupon of some sort. I think so. Or first time purchase, I don't know, I signed up for something, I think. So with that being said, I loved the different options with the straps. I love that it has these two smaller straps for a handheld moment. Um, you can put it on your shoulder or your elbow like that. Maybe not your shoulder. No, I wouldn't do shoulder. But I would say like your elbow crease if you're into that. Or it also has the longer straps, which these would be the shoulder strap. I liked that it had both options on the straps. I also liked that you can kind of shift the shape of it so you could wear it two different ways. You could wear it with the corners in like this. So as you can see, this is inserted into the purse and then it's just holding on by magnets. So like that, and then same on this side. And then if you release the magnets and pull out the sides, and then you can reattach the magnets on the inside now it's the bigger size tote so depending on what you're stuffing it with that day um you can change the shape of it getting into the bag it does come stuff to help preserve the shape of it it also comes with a pouch inside so in here you could put your wallet, your keys, your money, your phone if you really wanted to. Mine fits in there. Um, just anything you want to carry inside. And then you can also detach it 
very easily. So in here, this is just being held on like that. This is the information. This is the bag, C-Y-M-E. And I'm, I think it's pronounced Sim and Polen. Um, I could be wrong if I am, sorry if I'm not, cool. So I think this is a decent size. I am five foot, just five foot even, so I'm a little bit, I'm a shorty, I'm on the shorter side. So this is what it would look like open. I think if I'm doing a day where I need a lot of stuff for a lot of things in here, then I'll leave it like this. But for the most part, I think I like it like this. We'll see. We're all just looking at it, looking at the stitching, looking at the bag and just the way it feels. It feels pretty sturdy. It feels like great quality. It looks like great quality. Let's see what fits in here. So this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. So putting that in here and perfect. It fits, can't see it. And even if I close it, it still fits. So I like that. Should we maximize? Let's see. It looks like, I don't know if it's just not used to it, but this might be, it wants to go back in. AirPods Pro Max or Air, AirPods Max. Going in, that fits good. My pen case, pencil case, going in. A makeup pouch also fits pretty well. Um, extra charger in case I needed it fits pretty well I would say the only other thing missing is which I don't have with me right now is my like my journal my agenda my planner my planner and my journal what else this is my regular everyday purse this is the tote in comparison let's utilize the pouch inside so this one I have a lip lippy um, cosmetic mirror, hand sanitizer, and I don't know if these will fit, but I have sunglasses. Oh, they do. Okay, so that's all in there. And then that goes back in here. My phone I always carry with me, but just for the purpose of this video, this is what it looks like inside. Honestly, I like it. Oh, let's see if it clips closed. With every, no, it won't. With everything in here like this, I'm gonna have to do some adjusting. Ooh, I don't. I mean, I don't. To me, I don't think that matters. Yeah, it won't. It won't hook closed. Give me some time to wear it, and I'll get back to you with another review. Maybe like a follow up review, or you can follow me on Instagram at Miranda Luna. Miranda with two A's, and maybe I'll post a review or like stories on there. Um, but I think overall it's pretty, I like it. I'll definitely get some use out of it. Um, I would give it a 10 out of 10. If I was to get super picky, I would say the only thing is this not closing, but obviously that's just everything that I have in there. Yeah, I think 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. There is another one of their purses that I have my eye on. So depending on how this goes, maybe if they have any I don't think they have sales, but they actually increased their prices this year, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, I had, like I said, I had my eye on one of their purses and this bag for a long time. And I'm sure it was just caught in it when I was looking at it when it was in stock. This was like December or November last year. And then I think in January or February of this year, they increased their prices on some of the bags. So that is my review and first impressions on the Poland bag. I do love it. I like it. Like I said, follow me on Instagram if you want to see um, more details on it as far as how it looks on or whatever I post on there. But otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment down below what you think about this tote or if you already have one of theirs or if you're in the market, if this review helped. Thank you so much for watching.